r slash ask reddit, what two video games would make a great game combined? Dead Space and No Man's Sky. The first Mass Effect had something like this. You could freely travel the galaxy and visit different systems and planets outside the plot arch. Found tons of great loot this way. It made me so sad when the sequels eliminated that aspect. Sims and GTA. Like having the family and generation aspects of Sims whilst also having the murder, sex and crime of GTA with optional missions. With some Crusader Kings type intrigue and dynasty building. Take my money. Cultured I see. Sid Meier's Pirates remade in the Assassin's Creed Black Flag engine. Civilization and Stellaris. Imagine playing for 4000 hours just to get to end game. That's just a paradox Nagar campaign. Star Wars Battlefront plus Red Dead Redemption. I can't believe they've only recently announced working on an open world SW game. That's what I hope the open world Star Wars game is like. Don't. Don't give me hope. Sims and Cities Skylines, a management city builder game where you could zoom into any citizen and live manage their life. There was a Sim City where you could export parts of your map to be used in one of the Sims games. Can't remember which versions they were, it wasn't fully integrated, but it was a step in the good direction. Pokemon and Breath of the Wild, I don't know if it would be better with a trainer as the player character or a Pokemon as the character you play as. But just imagine a massive open world where you could stumble across all the Pokemon and just attack on command. No turn based, slow paced combat, and you can collect all types of items to boost stats and concoct potions and antidotes and all that. I can't describe my whole vision because there's just so much that could be done with a game like that. But just imagine it. BOTW had a better catching Pokemon system with horses than Sword and Shield did. Untitled Goose Game and Bloodborne. Hotline Miami and Viscera Cleanup Detail. You just play as a janitor in 80s Miami who has to clean up a bunch of brutal murder scenes. Check out a game called Serial Cleaner. Might be what you're looking for. Oh wow. Good recommendation. I'm definitely gonna get this game. Team Fortress 2 and Left 4 Dead. This could actually be a thing since Valve owns both ipes. Team Dead 6. Pokemon and Skyrim. I was the greatest member of Team Rocket until I took a Thunderbolt to the knee. Hunt, Showdown and Skyrim. I can totally imagine a colonial fantastic game, with amazing gunplay where your proficiency with your weapon actually means something while being on an open world map. I thought about something like Remnant, from the Ashes and Skyrim. Don't know Hunt, Showdown but it looks fun. Can you also play it solo or is it forced online coop? Terraria and Minecraft, 3D, while still having all the progression of Terraria, and the complexity of Minecraft, also grappling hooks. There's plenty of mods in Minecraft which makes things a lot more complex and fun, like I was playing this one called Stonoblock 2, which was pretty fun, but yeah Terraria plus Minecraft would be epic. Super Grand Theft Mario. Grand Theft Kart. Fallout and Deus Ex. I love Fallout but I want more stealth and body augmentation. Okay I just want Jensen's arm blades and takedowns. Alternatively Fallout with anything stable and crash and bug free. Oh. Satisfactory in Stardew Valley. I always wished the unmodded Stardew game allowed me to automate everything. And Satisfactory could use a little story. Battlefield. Or Armor 3. And Company of Heroes. One player is the general, playing a typical RTS, but each of his units are actually players in an FPS. When he issues a move command, those players have a waypoint appear on their screen. If the player want grenades in their loadout, they send a request to the general player to unlock grenades in the tech tree. It has huge potential to be amazing, and huge potential to be shit. Would be a fun experiment either way. I think the old Battlefield 2 did something kind of like that. Each team would have a commander who had an overhead view of the map. They couldn't see enemies on the map unless they were spotted by teammates on the ground. Could send orders to squads and it would appear as a waypoint on the squad's map. The commander could do things like supply drops and call in artillery strikes. The commander was limited in what they could do but it was very fun. Halo and Portal. On paper this seems stupid but it was actually made the game is called Split Gut and it's free. 
the combat and boss battles of Dark Souls with the huge open world of Skyrim. Look up the Elder Souls, it's a great mod pack. Sims 4 and Sims 3, Sims 4 graphics lack of not waiting so long to load plus Sims 3 gameplay and open world equals hopefully, Sims 5? Don't forget Sims 4 build mode. The Witcher 3 and Ghost of Tsushima, The Witcher 3's gameplay is phenomenal. However, I thought the sword combat could be improved and then I saw Ghost of Tsushima being ridiculously realistic and that most games could at least use those types of mechanics. The Witcher 3's open world and story is just so big and so much to do in with several different outcomes. The magic is well done as well as the potions. Healing items, skills and enemies are all the more incredible. Ghost of Tsushima's graphics and scenery were one of the greatest I have seen and felt that if it gets added to The Witcher 3 along with its own sword fighting mechanics. Animal Crossing and Amnesia. That's a rather different kind of machine for pigs. P. Naki Jakey has some great games that should bang videos on his YouTube channel. Keep talking and everyone gets shot by Mark Wahlberg and then explodes. Among Us plus Unipop. Take your creamets out on dates. But if you can't figure out it's an imposter, they'll kill you right when the good part begins. Sea of Thieves and Assassin's Creed. Black Flag. I'd settle for Assassin's Creed. Black Flag without Assassin's Creed attached to it, and with single player options. Open world. Can't stand playing with other people these days. Titanfall and No Man's Sky. Just using a giant flame mech to fight a giant laser dinosaur just would be so cool. Half-Life and Portal. The game will just be called 3. Cities Skylines and Grand Theft Auto. I've always loved the idea of pouring a ton of work into a beautiful city and then ruining it with a violent crime spree and tons of drugs. Super Mario and Doom. Nice try yay. I'm not giving you good game ideas to ruin. Riss. Son of Rome and Kingdom Come, Deliverance. This would basically be my holy grail of gaming. A Roman style themed open world RPG with a very, very heavy focus on realism. A very fleshed out combat system. Think the exact opposite of button mashing. Add I Vapiter I would never play anything else again. A Red Dead Redemption style Star Trek game. With the uber realism still. Like you get stranded on a weird alien planet and have to shoot the local critters and cook and just to get by. Mirror's Edge's movement with Jedi Academy's combat. Kinda like Fallen Order. Just more dynamic and fast paced rather than the more timing based combat of Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order and No Man's Sky. Total War and Civilization. Might not work for multiplayer. But as a single player marathon it would be beyond epic to battle throughout the eras. Detroit. Become human and heavy rain. Philadelphia. Become human. Halo and Doom. I don't know anything about Halo but I know many many people would love him fighting a long he Doom Slayer. So yes. Halo and Doom. Well. Half-Life 2 with Portal 2. That would be an awesome game. I've always wanted GTA but with skateboarding. I have fun with the BMX so a skateboard would be even better. Alternatively, Skate 3 with guns and cars would be pretty great. DDR and Mario Kart. Okay okay hear me out. Mario Kart and Rocket League. Basically you play soccer, but in carts, with Nintendo characters. COD Zombies and Portal sounds interesting to me. Ace Combat and Metal Gear, was just thinking about it yesterday. Imagine Snake getting on a jet with a mounted rail cannon underneath and fighting a massive flying Metal Gear like any of the bosses in Ace Combat. That would be sick. Grand Theft Auto and Assassin's Creed, the two titans of the open world genre forming a mega game. AC Stealth, AC Law, GTA Driving, Stardew Valley plus Minecraft. They're already kinda similar but if Minecraft had Stardew Valley's super cool farming, great NPCs, and bigger more optimized towns, it'd be sick. Forza Horizon plus Forza Motorsport. Always thought it would be cool to drive around Europe to each racetrack. Bonus points for combining it with Euro Truck Simulator. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.